Tucker Carlson has many apologists and unfortunately, Glenn Greenwald, who's a regular on his program, happens to be one of them. Now, the Buffalo shooter who gunned down 10 innocent individuals and injured three others at a supermarket in Buffalo, New York, believed in white replacement theory, the idea that people of color and immigrants are coming into the country and having a lot of kids to replace white people. And one of the individuals who spews that garbage on his show on a regular basis is Tucker Carlson. Now to run interference for Tucker Carlson is Glenn Greenwald with this statement. There are fundamental and glaring differences between the animating views of the New Zealand and Buffalo shooters and Fox hosts. But even if there weren't, exploiting corpses as they still lie on the ground for mob justice is ghoulish, soulless, and sick, he argues. Your ghoulish, soulless is 100%. sick. 100%. You want to distract from people, Glenn, when they're actually mad and want to do something about it. Say, so, oh, let's come back to it two days or two weeks later, full well knowing, Glenn, that they're not going to come back to it. And your mission is going to be accomplished, which is shh. Exactly. Racist, white, right wing culture is awesome, right, Glenn? Freedom of speech, go get him, big guy. That's what you goddamn thing. And that's why you say, oh, no, 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 when we're guilty, shush, 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 shush. And all of a sudden, he brings back a shooter, the one shooter from the left, and talks about it for page after page mm -hmm. after page. Because remember, the dozens of right wing murderers in the country. That are mass shooters, the synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh, El Paso, Texas, when they shot Latinos, almost all about the great replacement theory. But shh, Glenn doesn't want you talking about that. Talk about the one left wing shooter, distraction squirrel. I gotta no. protect my beloved Tucker Carlson. That's how I make money. You're pathetic, Glenn, pathetic. He's just, Jenk, he's just going back to his roots of defending Nazis. Uh, which is exactly what he did as a lawyer for Matthew Hale, a Nazi. <laughs> um, that's what he does. Uh, and you know, he had a brief moment of clarity in his life. Maybe he uh, decided, let me go toward uh, wanting to protect people's civil liberties through the reporting I do. But that wasn't really who he was, right? Uh, he decided to go right back into the defending Nazis uh, category uh, with his work. Now. I want to read you also from his Substack, but before I do, I want to also note the very first thing Glenn Greenwald did on Twitter after the shooting happened was go after the New York Times because they made a small error in regard to the shooter liking crypto. Turns out the shooter didn't like crypto, he was actually very critical of crypto. Who cares, who cares? It is such an obvious squirrel meant to distract you. And then later he comes out with this Substack piece where he writes, that Carlson was primarily responsible for the 10 dead people in Buffalo was asserted despite the fact that there was no indication that the shooter even knew who Carlson was, that he had ever watched his show, that he was influenced by him in any way or that he admired or even liked the Fox host. Indeed, in the long list of people and places which Gendron, that's the shooter, cited as important influences on him, Brenton Tarrant, uh, the El Paso shooter, Patrick uh, Crucius, the uh, California Jewish Community Center killer. So he names all these other people who were named, by the way, in the shooter's manifesto. Anyway, but look, the point here is Tucker Carlson has taken white replacement theory, which primarily existed in the dark corners of the internet, and he brought it mainstream, took it mainstream with his primetime news show on Fox, news show on Fox. He knows that, he knows that, but he wants to provide cover for him. And so I don't know, maybe Glenn Greenwald is really dumb or maybe he's super unaware of what Tucker Carlson talks about on his show on a regular basis. So let's remind him, let's take a look at this video. I know that the left and all the little gatekeepers on Twitter become literally hysterical if you use the term replacement. If you suggest that the Democratic Party is trying to replace the current electorate, the voters now casting ballots with new people, more obedient voters from the third world. But they become hysterical because that's, that's what's happening actually. Let's just say it, that's mm. true. We've never seen demographic change like this. It's roughly the equivalent of a brand new city of Chicago every year. A city populated entirely by poor people with limited education who can't speak English. And the question is, how is it good for America? Where exactly is all this criminal white supremacy, this right wing domestic terrorism that poses, quote, the most lethal terrorist threat in the homeland? Where is it? Well, of course, it doesn't exist. In other words, you're being replaced and there's nothing you can do about it. 
So shut up. The great replacement theory, it's a lie, they yelled. George Soros has nothing to do with that. Stop talking. They said we were espousing something called the great replacement theory, a well-known racist fantasy. The great replacement. They acknowledge that it's real and they love it. This policy is called the great replacement, the replacement of legacy Americans with more obedient people from faraway countries. The great replacement plan is working. But Jake, the shooter didn't mention Tucker Carlson by name in his manifesto, therefore innocent, totally innocent. <laughs> no, no reasonable human being uh, that was objective would look at uh, what Tucker Carlson has said, read the 180 page manifesto and come back and say, uh, you know, the number one problem is New York Times had a typo and there was a left wing shooter uh, five years ago. No, but wait, why are we talking about that? This guy just did the shooting today. You say we shouldn't talk about the shooting that happened today, but we should talk about a shooting that happened five years ago and some tiny little error of the New York Times. Glenn, it's super obvious to anyone with two brain cells that you're trying to distract people. Then the question is why? Why are you trying to distract them from Tucker Carlson constantly talking about the great replacement theory? Listen to the things that Tucker Carlson said in just that clip. He talked about how the new these nefarious forces, including George Soros, want to replace Americans with, quote, more obedient voters from the third world. Why would they be more obedient? More obedient to who? What would be the problem with whether it's an immigrant from the Scandinavian countries or the Baltic countries or the African countries or the Asian countries coming here? And if we're all equal and you believe in the, the most core principle of America of equality, you would think who cares if an Asian guy is voting or a Latina lady or a white guy, what, what difference does it make? But apparently it makes a big, big difference to Tucker Carlson. That's why he keeps talking about it. And in 1965, uh, there was a, a law uh, that was repealed. And that law said that only people basically from Europe could immigrate here. Mm -hmm. And Tucker Carlson said that was the worst thing that ever happened. Glenn, why was it the worst thing that ever happened where we allowed people from other countries that are non-white to immigrate here? That's what Tucker Carlson says. He, ref There's he referred to it as the worst attack on the country in 160 years and he was specifically referring um, to uh, an act uh, that was meant to replace the national origin formula. The national origin formula um, limited immigration into the United States to white people and white people only. And uh, when that was changed through a later act, that is what Tucker Carlson refers to as the worst attack on the country in 60 years. No, but that is deeply and obviously and blatantly racist. Okay. Mm -hmm. To say, oh my God, we're gonna stop, allow immigration from non-white people? We're gonna allow that? That is an attack on America because they do not view America as black people or Latinos or Jews or Muslims. They view America as white. That is the definition of racism. Tucker Carlson said it endless times on his show. And the shooters in El Paso and all the other places that Glenn himself even quoted all talk about the replacement theory, or almost all talk about it. And in almost the same ways that Tucker Carlson talks about it. But somehow Glenn thinks objectively, oh, I can't see it. I can only see things that happened five years ago and from people that I disagree with politically. But when it's my main benefactor, then I can't see, I'm blind. And the reason we get more upset at Glenn is because he's not an idiot. And what makes it sad is how deeply morally odious he is. He's a corrupt, despicable person. And so, uh, look, he talks about the shooter does, and you saw it in that Tucker Carlson clip about how Soros is leading the replacement of people. Soros is Jewish. It is a deeply anti Semitic conspiracy theory. Glenn is Jewish, but he doesn't care. He's a fame whore. Don Matt Hale, that Anna talked about, the original Nazi that Glenn made his name defending, mm -hmm. he was not a court appointed lawyer. The original lawyer for Matt Hale was another fame whore, Alan Dershowitz. It was like, oh, it'll seem really interesting and different, and I'll make all the papers if I'm a Jewish lawyer defending a Nazi. But Dershowitz was too expensive for Matthew Hale, so he had to find like a low rent lawyer. Yeah, and low rent lawyer Glenn Greenwald then jumped in and said, I'd like to be famous. I'd like to be famous. I'll defend the Nazi. Glenn, you're right back at it. Congratulations. And finally, one more piece of evidence for Glenn or anyone who's been duped by Glenn. 
Why don't we hear from a proudly self-described white nationalist and what he thinks about Tucker Carlson and his rhetoric on his show? Let's watch. When Tucker says population replacement is a voting rights issue, there are young people that go, Yep. Yes. Yes. That's so true. It is. And right before I went live on my show, I watched a clip from Tucker Carlson's show. And I noticed that Tucker Carlson was saying the exact same thing that I said last night. And that's okay. And in the spirit of America first, and we've got to get used to saying this, I saw that monologue and I said, okay. Okay, so, you know, my talking points, I guess, are now mainstream enough that they're on Fox News. Mainstream enough that they're now on Fox News. And that's exactly what Tucker Carlson has managed to do, along with uh, Republican politicians like Elise Stefanik and also Matt Gaetz. To this day, I believe that Glenn Greenwald is still pretending to be a progressive. Yeah. And by the way, the morons, the blithering idiots of the right wing are like, oh no, it's true. Oh, progressives are always defending white supremacists like Tucker Carlson, talking about how these dirty, dirty immigrants are gonna replace us beloved pure white people. That's what progressives do, right? No, no progressive does that. He's a total whore for the right wing. He makes money from you guys and he's like, yes, yes, money from the right wing. No. I don't see great replacement theory. Tucker's only said it a couple of dozen times. I, I don't see it. I don't see it at all. All these shooters are all talking about the same exact theory. I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, really? Glenn, you can't see it. No, the most disgusting part is that it's obvious that you do see it and you're trying to trick everyone else into pretending that someone on the left wing sees, oh, you poor right wingers. Your culture of violence is so beautiful. Your culture of racism is gorgeous. Oh, you're the victims. You're the poor victims. Look at the New York Times, they got a slight fact wrong. It's their fault, not your fault. Guys, this is just the beginning. They're gonna go on a war path over the next couple of weeks. They're gonna let this cool down for a couple of days. And then they're gonna say, the Democrats are overreacting. In fact, he wrote it in the manifesto, the 18 year old kid did. Okay, he said, it's gonna be great because they're gonna get, we're gonna say that the Democrats are overreacting. And then we'll do even more pushback in our direction and we'll get even more power. He wrote it in the manifesto and you will see it play out on Fox News on a nightly basis. When we say, hey, can we at least for God's sake, track people who say, I am going to murder people. Can we at least have police talk to them? And they're gonna say, "Oh my God, we're the victims! We're the victims just because we want to murder minorities, just because we want to murder people that aren't are the same race or ideology as us. We're being tracked. We're the victims. No, those dead people are the victims, and you guys are at fault." Oh, you don't like that, Glenn? Cry! I don't care. Go make your money. Piece of crap. Go dance for them. Yeah, he will. He will. He loves dancing for them. He's got a long history of dancing for them. It's garbage. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.